out, y'all. It is me, the Shark Cow. We're coming back at you with our week four predictions. Last week, went 10 and 6. Which is solid. Could have been better, but easily could have been worse. Uh, let's just hop straight into this. Um, Thursday night football. The Jaguars at Bengals. Bengals coming off a win. That was very loud. Bengals coming off a win. And Jacksonville coming off a loss. Um... I think this one's self-explanatory. I think Cincinnati wins this one. This one kind of has a trap game feel to it, kind of. Jacksonville, I think, could come out and shock people. Trevor Lawrence is starting to look a little better as week goes, but he still needs a little bit of time, and I do think the Bengals will win this game after riding high off beating the Steelers. Let's go into the Sunday morning games. I'm start with Houston and Buffalo. I don't have to say too much. Buffalo is just a better team, and they should win. This one, um, I've seen a lot of people favor Miami. For the most part, but my guts tell me Indy. I, I don't know why. I just feel like the Colts will take this one. Uh, I like their defense. I think their run game is going to get going. Jacoby Brissett in the return to the, against his old team game. I think he'll do all right, uh, but I just have a gut feeling the Colts take this one. Tennessee, I think, beats the Jets because it's the Jets. Um... I think the Chiefs beat the Eagles because the Eagles did not look good against the Cowboys at all. Chiefs coming off another loss uh, to the Chargers. Chargers played fantastic, but um, I, I just can't see them losing to a team like the Eagles and losing three in a row. So I got to go with the Chiefs there. Browns at Vikings. I think this one's going to be like a really good game, actually. Minnesota coming off a really good win. And Cleveland coming off kind of a sloppy win, honestly. Against, I believe it was Chicago, but um, I do think the Browns win this one. While it's in Minnesota, and Minnesota's coming off a good win against Seattle, I, I, seeing that, I just think Cleveland uh, edges that one out. Next, Lions at Bears. This one's a tough one. Um, Lions, I feel like, could win this one. They barely and just barely lost to a Ravens team that did not play all that well. Bears, I. However, it's in Chicago. My guts tell me Bears, but I would not be surprised at all if Detroit wins that one. This one's such a toss-up to me. Panthers at Cowboys in what I think is going to be a really fun game. Dallas coming off a really good win against the Eagles, just dominating that game. Carolina coming off a dominant win against Houston on Thursday Night Football, so they had some extra time to rest and prepare. Uh, it's going to be a really good back-and-forth game, but I, do, I don't think Carolina does enough to slow down Dallas's offense. And I do think we might see Trayvon Diggs get another interception again. And he has been fantastic. I've been loving watching Diggs. But overall, this is going to be a really good game. I'm leaning more towards Dallas, but I wouldn't be all too surprised if Carolina does win this game. Next, the football team at the Falcons. Atlanta's coming off a good enough game against the Giants, winning. Washington coming off really getting whopped on by uh, Buffalo. But I just, I just think Washington wins this one. I think Washington's the better team. Atlanta is just not a team I can really trust too much. They're too inconsistent for me personally. But I do think Washington wins this one. Though, I'm not opposed to seeing Atlanta win like last week. Giants at Saints. I think Saints win this one. Saints coming off a good one against New England. Uh, the Giants coming off a loss to Atlanta. They're in, I don't know if it's in New Orleans still, if they'll be in somewhere like Jacksonville still. Um... But either way, I think New Orleans wins. They're clearly the better team. So next, the Sunday afternoon games. We'll start with Baltimore at Denver. Baltimore looked really sloppy in their last win against the Lions here. Uh, Denver, they've had kind of a cakewalk schedule so far. Giants, Jets, and uh, who was it they just played and beat? I can't can't remember. Um, but yeah, they've really had a cakewalk schedule so far. And I think this is where Denver gets their first loss. I think Baltimore just does enough to win again. Kind of similar to last week, like the Lions. But I, I think they will play better. Denver's definitely better competition. But this one will be a good game. But since it is in Denver, I wouldn't be too surprised if Denver pulls that one out. Steelers at Packers. The Steelers' offense has looked horrible. Uh, Green Bay, pretty dominant for the... Most part of that Sunday night game up until the end when the Niners came back. But even then, they left too much time for Aaron Rodgers. And I knew Rodgers was going to go down that field no problem. Even with no timeouts with 37 seconds left. I do think the Packers win this one. I just can't trust the Steelers' offense too much. Their defense is still pretty good. But if they're missing T.J. Watt, they're they're in trouble. 
Next one, Seahawks at Niners. These two divisional games are going to be really fun to watch. Um, I would say more people favor the Niners here, but my gut is telling me Seattle pulls it out. I think Wilson's going to go off, have a great day. Um, it's it's going to be such a good hard-fought game. This one's a toss-up. I, I, my gut's telling me Seattle. And this one, I think that one, it will be a very fun game to watch. And another very fun game is Cardinals at Rams, the battle of the 3-0s. and This one's a really tough one for me. Rams are, come, are high off a win against uh, the Buccaneers. But for some reason, for some reason, I'm going to go with the Cardinals. My, like the Seattle game, my gut's telling me the Cardinals. I think Kyler Murray, he, he's just going to go off. That offense will do enough. And while the secondary for Arizona is not the greatest by any means, um, I think they will get enough pressure on Stafford where they'll force a huge turnover. Maybe Buda comes in. Gets that interception and really changes the momentum of the game all towards Arizona. My gut tell me Arizona, but this is such a toss-up game that it can go either way. And divisional games, you never know what's going to happen, especially when there are two good teams like this. Sunday Night Football. Tom Brady returns to Gillette, but this time in a Buccaneers uniform. While this one I think is going to be actually a good game, especially it being New England, Tampa Bay's going to win. They're the better team. There's no way they lose this one, right? But, I mean, we'll see what happens. I definitely favor Tampa Bay here. And last but not least, the Raiders at Chargers. This will be a really good one. Chargers riding a really good win off um, the Chiefs and the Raiders coming off. Kind of a sloppy win against Miami, but they got the job done. They came back, got the win. Um, This one's another one that can go either way. Monday Night Football in L.A. this time. I got to go with the Chargers I think they do just enough to get the win here. Um, but this one's going to be a really good game. Same thing, this one could be a toss-up. Uh, any team can win, and I wouldn't really be shocked. But this is what I have for week four. I think it's going to be another solid week of football. Let's hope, same thing, like every week there's no two serious injuries. Hopefully it's minor injuries, nothing major. Never want to see that. But of course, let's hope for good football. Let me know. What game specifically you're very interested in watching this weekend and what you think will be the game of the week. That being said, I hope you enjoyed and see you for my week five predictions. Thank you.